The record for the longest fast is 382 days. Now that means not eating for more than an entire year. I know it sounds incredible and maybe even scary. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Silard. I'm not a doctor. My background actually is in biology and chemistry. I've also been a competitive athlete for 20 years, winning three national kickboxing titles. What I've discovered about nutrition and weight loss, I share with you in my videos. Now, let me give you some context about the longest fast in history. So back in 1965, there was a man called Angus Barberi, who was struggling with his weight. Now, at the age of 25, his weight was 456 pounds. Now, Angus was just a regular guy living in the UK and he was working in his father's fish and chip shop. But his problem was that he just could not lose this weight. Now, he went to a local hospital looking for professional advice on how he could get somehow rid of his excessive weight. Now, one of the doctors suggested that he could be a good candidate for a new therapy called fasting. And back then, this was a very uncommon advice for losing weight. Now, initially, Angus did not plan to fast for so long. He planned to fast for just a couple of days. However, the days turned into weeks and he insisted that he wants to eat no food and plans to keep on fasting. Now, the doctors at the hospital were hesitant to let Angus fast for so long. You see, they recommended that he should not go for more than 40 days without food. But Angus had a goal weight in his mind and he was determined to reach this weight. So he decided to ignore the recommendations of his doctors and just kept on going. And what was interesting is that he didn't feel weak or ill, even though he didn't eat anything during this fast. And he was actually feeling good and his hunger subsided. Now just think about this. In the past, he was getting all of his pleasure from eating food. And now he's happy without food and doesn't even feel hunger anymore. Now, isn't that strange? Now, that's actually a common experience of people who are doing fasting. You see, after the initial 24 hours of fasting, the hunger usually subsides and step by step, the body gets used to not eating. Now, after a couple of days, our body consumes all the glucose that we have. Now, you might be wondering, but won't we die without glucose? Not really, since our body is actually well adapted for long periods of starvation. In our history, we had periods where we had no food and there our body had to adapt. Now in this state, our body switches to using fat for energy instead of sugar. And this process is called glucogenesis. And during this process, our fat reserves are being consumed. And what's remarkable is that this new fuel gives us balanced energy without sugar spikes. Now our mind feels more focused, our anxiety subsides, and our mood is often elevated. And this is exactly what Angus was also experiencing. Now a couple of words of caution. Fasting for a day or a few days is very healthy. Personally done multiple three to four day fast and I had absolutely no health issues. Now, doing a prolonged fast, it is a completely different story. Notice, Angus was under medical supervision during his extreme fast. He also had huge fat reserve that provided the fuel that he needed during this fasting period. Now, I would not recommend such an extreme fast. However, if you want to do a shorter fast and just enjoy the health benefits and the weight loss benefits of a fast, I've prepared for you a guide that shows you how to do your first or your next fast safely. Now you can download this guide for free and the link is in the description of this video. Now back to our story with Angus Barberi. Now you might be wondering what did Angus consume during his 382 day fast? Okay. So he only drank water, tea, black coffee, some electrolytes and vitamins. Now his weight continued to decrease, but his hunger was not increasing, which is quite interesting. And another interesting fact is that during this fast, Angus continued to urinate as normal and the hospital took samples of his urine. But his bowel movements came only once every 38 or 47 days. Now, Obviously, if nothing is coming in, why should anything come out? Okay, that's just simple logic. 
Now, on the 11th of July, 1966, Angus broke his fast because he reached his ideal weight. His first meal was a boiled egg and a piece of bread, which he said he enjoyed thoroughly. Now, the fast worked and his weight dropped from 456 pounds down to 180 pounds in just over a year. Now that's like losing the weight of two adults. Now you might be wondering, great, okay, now he lost all that weight, but didn't he just gain it all back in the following months? Actually, no. His weight stabilized and five years later, he still weighed only 195 pounds. His medical records are being kept in the Maryfield Hospital in Dundee, Scotland. Now, I hope this video inspired you in your weight loss journey. And if you want to see how to do your first fast safely, just go ahead and download my fasting guide for free. Now, the link is in the description of this video. If you want to see more videos on health and nutrition and weight loss, check out my next video right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.